So we're going to work on the Yoko Tomoenaki, right? So Yoko means side, uh, Tomoenaki. So it's a side version of uh, the sacrifice show Yoko Tomoenaki for Judo. Uh, this is a great technique to uh, put yourself in a position of doing guard. So who likes to play from the bottom, you can do attempt of take down, right? And if that, if you miss the timing and that doesn't work for some reason, you are in the guard position, open guard position. Okay, so I'm gonna show the way I like to do it, right? With both hands on the sleeve, right? We're gonna talk about the mechanics of it, and then after, we're gonna show you how to force, how to make my partner step in the way I need him to step. Okay, so if you start off, I like to have my partner in the opposite stance that I have, right? So, moving back here, if so I can right handed, right? He is left handed, and, and uh, therefore his left leg is in forward. So, he grab my gear, go outside and grab on the young outside. Give him this big move, right? So my entire goal here is to put myself, my hip right under his belt line. So I'm gonna step in close, make a triangle between my base foot here right, and his feet. And then as I lay down, trying to touch my head on his foot, I step right on his hip. Go in. I put myself as much as I can under him, okay? And my shoulder by his chin. Then, as I'm going down, I'm bringing that elbow down with me, putting some weight there. So that will make him flip over my foot, my pivot foot. I go in. the arm across like that as I'm falling. All right, I have a few options when it comes to the Yoko Moenagi. Like I said, we're gonna, if I can't make the Yoko Moenagi work to that way because of his reactions, I can also throw him to the other side. So go in. Now he's waiting to the other side. So I'm going to drive the truck whoop, to the other way. So get in. Right. Just drive the truck whoop, all the way to the other side. What I like to do as well is go for the arm. If I'm already thinking about attacking his arm there, instead of grabbing here, I go for this leave. Right? So, when I get in, he posts because I'm not holding. So in order not to fall on the ground, I'm gonna post that hand. So, as I go in, he posts. I have the arm block. Right? So that'll be the position for the arm block. There is many different options, the more simple one. I lost the timing. Yeah. I'm already on the side here, so that hand goes to the chin, the heel. The foot that's free, go behind the knee. Now I'm gonna push and pull. Pull. Right. In order to make him step that way, let's say that he's a right hand. So what I'm gonna do is, hand go to the back of the triceps, and I'm gonna shuffle back. When I shuffle back and pull, he's right where I want. Now, it's a good idea to make his weight come to that knee. So you're gonna slowly push back, he naturally gonna force his way back on me, so the weight is there. Now, two, go. Make sense? So, I know there's a lot of information. Take what you can out of that and mix that into your game and see, you know, what's your lot. If you have any questions, our door is always open, you know, to anybody that wants to come and uh, exchange knowledge with us. Thank you.